Hi folks, uh, another video, uh, and it's still not Halloween yet, so the halls will keep coming in, um, but it's not a big haul. Went to town today for one reason, did it involve, I'm trying to think actually if it involved, yes it did involve buying something, which I bought and it's over there but that's by and by but like usual you see bits and you come home with that as well so let's have a look da -da. Um, I don't know if this was already in I um, can't remember seeing it but really good one two three four eight twelve 16 32 stickers for a quid uh, to put on bottles if you've got any nice little fancy bottles uh, things like black cat protein ends teeth drink and eat drink and be scary poison potion blah 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 what I tend to do a lot of these things is use them in the bathroom but something to remember, I haven't got a bottle here, so I'll just use a candle as a bottle. In the bathroom or anywhere, if you're gonna put a, a sticker on a bottle, um, and what's inside looks similar to uh, frog's eyes or whatever it is, um, it'll look great. Stick it in the bathroom where you uh, bath salts or whatever it might be but put another little label under there and write on there what's actually in the bottle because take my word for it after a little while you bloody forget yourself what the hell it was in there you know it's something to do with your bath so you're okay and there's nothing in there that you're gonna actually eat but uh, yeah put a little sticker under your bottle what's actually in the bottle put your fun label on the front what else did i get so i went in poundland to i thought i'll get a couple of bits that i can use after halloween um we weren't expecting anything new in but those labels, I hadn't seen those before, and I saw it in my bloody eyes shut. And I actually found these as well. A pound each. Let's give us the label, because the label's still on. But there's one. It's a little uh, skeleton of a crow or something, I, I'm imagining and you can move his head about you can move his beak and uh if you're clever and you can do stop motion video you can actually get him talking for you can't you uh, he could have done this bloody video for me he, he wouldn't have talked such crap um yeah a little crow so i thought come flipping help it could have and in with a the crow <coughs> there was some spiders but i've seen two lots of spiders now and they're not not really that good and uh, although i've got a, a different uh, rat there was another one in there there's the label it's quite a nice little skinny hell of a bloody tail I was wondering if that come off just there, but it doesn't. So there you go. One hell of a wrap with one hell of a tail. And let's have a look. Does, does he move his mouth? He doesn't move his mouth. He doesn't move his head. Don't move his tail. Don't move his legs. But the bloody hell, he went for a quid. Anyway, that's a nice little rat. So that, that was the only bits I got like that, the only new bits I come across. 
don't think there's anything else, no. Uh, but while I was there, um, the other day I was talking about these I bought, these in packets, little solid um, plastic bats, they're not like the little rubber ones that these are pretty solid, and a little packet of uh, skeleton hands and feet. Um, and you got, there was other stuff as well, and you could get three packets. Correct the amount. <laughs> I think it was two pound or something like that. You got three packets anyway. It would come out a little bit cheaper than buying one. Well, I said at the time, maybe you can make some things with these, be a bit inventive. Um, a lot of jewellery and everything don't cost a lot, but you, you can be a little bit inventive as well. And there's one, um, the little hand, I drilled an hole in, put that little ring on, and just for the sake of it at the moment, it's a double, uh, it's a double ribbon. But there you go. And I don't know what it looks like myself, but let's give it a go. So, yeah. Sometime throughout the year, whatever you're wearing, it'll make a nice pendant. And I suppose you can have it wherever you want. Put a clasp on or anything, I don't know what you call them. You can make the, uh, the air grips and all that sort of thing. But yeah, for the price, you know, you can make yourself lots of little bits and bobs. Um, although I haven't done it yet, the little hard bat is quite big. If you can see, I've done a little hole in the end of each. And I'll either put uh, little rings on there or the chain uh, to it, unless I use a lever. Uh, string or something and then that will make a again a nice bat pendant okay it's not bloody silver or uh, pewter or anything but it'll look the part it's not that great on black but if you're a woman that has a top like that and it goes about there on your skin it's gonna look pretty bloody neat so yeah, that, and uh, yesterday, the day before when I did a video, I was talking about in being inventive and doing things, and I, I showed you a, a collar that I made out of stuff, well, here's another one. Uh, this is a little bit more spiky than the other. The other's uh, got little uh, skulls on and, uh, and a ring. This one's got two rings it's a double O ring again it's the uh, it's those rings that made up some sort of belt or whatever I also bought as I showed you less than two pounds for ten uh, spikes free uh, postage and made this Again, I use Velcro because I don't really like metal on my skin. Okay. And metal at the back, I've covered in uh, a few layers of uh, uh, clear nail varnish and hopefully that will stop me doing that. Again, it was uh, just a piece of ordinary belt, plain like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me added the spikes which I added five and then two o-rings and again uh, velcro at the back um, probably a good idea which I will do sometime buy some bloody black velcro although you can't see it but it makes it bad and there you go a collar that looks pretty good that costs probably well it'd be less than a, a pound but I would imagine get get your leather belts from a charity shop or 
you might even have some knocking around or whatever or get from where you can and decorate as you wish you don't have to go out and pay 14 quid upwards for something like that and they can be bloody expensive um, like I said I know they, they come undone like that you're not buckled in but it's not particularly the real thing is it uh, it's just for show so yeah and if you like me you're a little bloody angel look you can have an halo so there you go that's one or two bits I bought today one or two bits I bought today um, didn't cost anything really but I'll, this year has been bloody fantastic for uh, skeleton things knocking around so how many three four five six seven seven different skeletons uh, of animals birds uh, bats I've bought this year yay so folks uh, have fun go away don't do what I do do what you would do but go and be a little bit inventive look for stuff to make for yourself that looks as bloody good as uh, something you'd pay hell of a lot of money for but it's simple like I said if you can't do it yourself grab a friend that can bloody do it and you can do it together there's nothing uh, like doing things together or somebody in your family that can do it or whatever but have a bloody go at it you once you get the swing of it you'll like it and you'll be doing more and more inventive stuff than going out and paying big bucks for it so like i said have fun this is kilted garth love you enjoy your day folks i'm going for a cup of coffee i think